Welcome back if you're joining me from another video. If you're joining me for the first time, hello! I have in front of me my Marketplace haul. Now, every Sunday I go down to the markets as long as it's nice weather and have a look what's for sale and what's for cheap. I always encourage secondhand buying. It basically means that your kids can have more for less or if you're a collector, it is a great way of expanding a collection without having to pay top dollar because if you're going to places like eBay, etc. to expand your collection, you're pretty much paying top dollar. Now let's have a look at what I got. It was basically Lego pieces, Megabot pieces, a Furby, beautiful Furby here, and some Pokemon, which is very, very, all kids and adults alike are into at the moment because of Pokemon Go, the app. So I'm going to start off with the Lego. Now it in my country, Lego is very expensive. You're looking at $20 to $30 to buy a vehicle of, of like around this size, etc. Which is $20 to $30 New Zealand. Um, it's a toy that I consider a luxury toy and because of the price of it. Um, so I don't generally buy too much Lego. My son has a huge box of Lego, which we really, really love. But um, it hardly ever comes down on sale here. If, and if you have a sale, it's only 20% off, which is pittance. <laughs> I don't consider 20% off a sale. So this Lego figure here, I picked it up and I had a look over. It is all complete, already made. It's got a little man in there. The only piece that is missing is a tool for this hook here. The rest of it is fantastic and in working condition, no breaks. This was... Two dollars New Zealand, so about mm, I'd say a dollar twenty to a dollar fifty US. So this was two dollars New Zealand for an official Lego figure, and the easiest way to tell it's official Lego is you look at the pieces that they up here, and they have Lego printed on them, and the Lego pieces look like Lego pieces. The men, so this is gorgeous. This tow truck, two dollars. No one has an excuse for not being able to afford presents when you have $2 beautiful Lego pieces at the market. Now, here is a another Lego piece. Again, you look for the Lego sign on the... It's going to focus on these ones down here, I think. Is it going to focus? Focus! There we go. The Lego signs on the brick and tiles. It is a digger with a moving piece here, a moving piece here, little wheel in here, so it obviously drives this way, but it can drive this way as well. The only thing wrong with it is that the stickers are getting a little old and a bit, bit coming a bit off, so I'll glue those back down. But this is beautiful. All the wheels are working. Fantastic. $2 New Zealand. Now the next two pieces are mega blocks that she had and um, I brought all these from the same lady. Uh, again, two dollars for mega blocks is fairly cheap. Mega blocks is a cheaper version of Lego, but again, it's quite costly for how much you get <laughs> brand new. So here is the mega box car, and the way to tell it is mega blocks is if you zoom in and we get it to focus, you can see it has mega blocks printed around here. This little car, two dollars. All working beautiful. Now my son plays with his Lego a lot. He is like the Lego movie. He takes them, he builds the beautiful vehicles and then he tends to dismantle them and build giant tanks etc which I'm okay with as long as he's happy. A lot of some people like to keep them official. <laughs> I know my father was like, oh, it's so beautiful, so beautiful. You don't want to ruin that. And I said, hey, if he wants to pull it apart and create something else, that's up to him. Another Mega Blocks um, piece. Again, it's got Mega Blocks circles in here to tell that. Oops, and I'm just going to pull things off it. It is a helicopter, obviously. And once more. $2. Now 
Now Mega Blocks and Lego, I pretty much consider the same in that you put them, <laughs> they fit together, so who cares if you mix them together? I certainly don't. It looks like a police helicopter, I think, because of the colorings, at least for New Zealand. So this $2. Now I'm going to touch the Furby last because I know that Furbies are very noisy because my daughter has a rather large Furby collection and sometimes when they're all talking to each other I I have to leave the room because <laughs> they don't shut up so I'm going to touch a Furby next. Now the next things I found was from another seller and they were a bit more expensive but I think they're real they're really into um they're really popular at the moment. Now these are the 1999 um, Pokemon figures. I haven't looked up their value or anything like that. Um, Pokemon. I know that Pokemon Go is extremely popular with kids at the moment and so when I saw these I paid a little bit extra for them. Now these were two dollars each. These ones are the Tomy. Now they have they have 1999 odd, odds on link China. Nintendo, here we are, Nintendo 1999. So they don't have the Tomy figures on these, these weird ones with rollerballs at the bottom. But they were so cute, I paid $2 New Zealand. Like I said, that's $1.20 to $1.50 US, depending on how the exchange rate is going. And I figured that was okay. They have a little bit of marks on them, but nothing that I can't scrub off with a toothbrush. Skrittle! <laughs> I like these guys because they're all like the original ones, so I will actually know their names. If these were XY or Sapphire or Purple or whatever the hell they're up to now, <laughs> I would have no idea what they are. So we have a rolling around Skrittle. I'm not going to say each time these are $2. Again, $2 per figure. I thought they were a great buy. And my daughter loves Pokemon, so I'm just expanding her collection here. And especially with um, what I would call vintage Pokemon figures, they are cool. So here we have a Bulbasaur. Again, it's one of these little rollerballs. Maybe someone recognizes these and can tell me why these Pokemon are on rollerballs. Did they like roll along and battle or something? But this guy is super cute. And they're quite big. You can see... From the size of my palm of my hand. These aren't small figures, these are quite big. Now though, oh one more, no that was the last of the ones on the thing. Now we're getting into the little figures which are dated. Okay these ones are nine Tomi made in China. So these ones are labeled Tomi but I can't see a dote on them. Anyway uh, this is either Polywag or Polywhirl, I think it's Polywag. That's adorable. Cute, look at it. It's eyes, it's just like, take me home, mommy. I love you. <laughs> yes, my darling, I will. Now, this is a ratata. I think he's a little evil looking, so he's not my favorite, but he was in such good condition. The majority of these are a really good condition, as if they hardly look like they've even been played with. Here we are, so Tomy, made in China. Awesome. Now, this is a sand shrew, I believe. Like you can see, you can see on the camera, they, they don't, these ones don't even have marks on them, hardly. They're just gorgeous. Isn't he adorable? Little armadillo like. I don't know this one's name. I think it might be Sen... Uh, no, I don't know. I'm not going to try. I know it's one of the original ones. I can't remember its name. So if you know what its name is, let me know. I think it's a porcupine or a hedgehog. Again, let me know what animal this one's meant to be. Is it a hedgehog Pokemon or a porcupine Pokemon? I believe it might, it might even be what this one evolves into. They kind of look the same. But it was so cute, I couldn't leave it behind. So cute! I can't leave the Pikachus for last. Zapdos! This one is cool. Check it out! 
and I love its pose. It's just like its card, um, its original card. I think I have a somewhere. I know somewhere I have a first edition Zapdos sitting. I think it might actually be in my double up pile. I'm not sure if I put one into my into my collection Pokemon card collection. But he looks so cool. Like that sitting on a kid's desk would just be awesome. Zapdos! Now this is what Pikachu evolves into. He unfortunately is not as popular as his younger selves, Pikachu and Pichu. He needs a little bit of repainting up here. There's just a nick out of his paint. This is Raichu. I think Raichu is just as cute as Pikachu and Pichu. Oh, he needs a little bit of painting on his tail there too. So I'll get out the acrylic paints and the sealant and fix him up, he'll be good as new. Gorgeous. So here we have everybody's favorite. Well, even if it's not your favorite, everybody knows who this is. Now these, I know these are the original Pikachu figures because I had them back <laughs> when I was a teenager. And I'm gonna say this, this is why you should be careful with your toys, kids. Things that from your teens become popular in your adult as collector's pieces when you're an adult. So if you look after your toys, and especially if they're from a popular brand, you will want them back later on. Because I want all my vinyl figures back from when I was a teenager. But I went through my 20s stage and where it was just like dump everything because I'm a big girl now and now I want them all back. Now that I'm an even bigger, bigger girl, <laughs> I want all my cool things back. So that's so cute. Yes, I definitely had these. I remember. And for $2 New Zealand, which is what I paid for the Lego pieces each, but for $2 New Zealand for a Pokemon figure, I was very, very happy. Just considering how hard they are to get. Um, now this guy here needs his ears fixed. Now he's kind of like a fat Pikachu. He's a kind of like a roly-poly Pikachu. He has on the back of him Tomy, but I don't know what's... He just kind of looks a bit different. So his little ear has been dented a bit, so I'm gonna get some black paint and seal it and fix him up and give him a bit of a scrub with the good old warm water and soap. But I just thought that he looked, he's like one of those um, Japanese cats, you know? He just looks so content, so happy with life. I like him. And the last Pikachu I have, <laughs> looks like when Pikachu's asking, Chew? <laughs> doesn't even have the picker in front, it's just like, chew. <laughs> that is so cute. And as I said, you can see the size of these figures by the palm of my hand. These aren't small. Very, very cute. So, $2 for everything so far. What do you think I paid for the Furby? Pause this video right now. And give me a guess. If you're watching this and you want to play a game, have a guess uh, how much I paid for the f Furby. I've paid $2 for everything so far. I'm now going to start again. Three, two, one, ding! If you guessed $2 for the Furby, you guessed right. <laughs> so, this Furby, now it did not have batteries in. I will say this quite often if you're at the market and a toy doesn't have battery in, I have been burnt before there is a chance you are buying a faulty electronic product. Um, my advice is to always ask, does it work? And then they can say yes or no if they give you an unsure thing. Well, it worked the last time I used it. You ask, well, when was the last time you used it? And if they say, oh, a few years ago, mm, no. Because what happens is the battery down in the bottom they can corrode if they're left in there for a while and it can just make it an awful mess. Or you can ask, you can ask all these questions. It's okay to ask it the thing. Another good question to ask of electronic toys is has it come in contact with water? If it's come in contact with water, don't buy it. Or if it's really, really cheap, you can take a punt, but generally it means that the inside is shot and you're not gonna be able to fix it. <clears throat> 
if you're like me and have some friends that can pull things apart and put them back together it's good as long as there hasn't been water through it they won't even probably try it well I know that one of them will try but most won't try if there's been water through electronics all right so it had no batteries in we came home we put batteries in it and you can tell by the fur that it's hardly been played with a good sign that it will also work as if they're nice people selling it and they're good clean people and the product looks good and clean as I said, it looks like it's never been played with in its entire life. It is still fluffy. Quite often on the Furbies, I know if my daughter's one, around here, because they get tickled so much, etc., the fur gets a bit matted, or the sensors on the side go. Isn't it gorgeous? He is so gorgeous. Yeah, blah, 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 that's me. <laughs> So again, $2 for a beautiful Furby. I think my daughter said that this was a 2012 Furby. Let's see. So we've tested the sensors and they all look amazing. And for $2. Oh, it doesn't like what I fed it. <laughs> so let's put them back here. So I'm going to call this market week my $2 week since everything I picked up was $2 and hey, I'm not going to fight $2. Buying these in the shop would have cost me a lot more money, especially these Lego figurines. These are the deal of the day. I am happy. My children are happy. I love watching Marketplace um, haul videos. So if you have one, leave it in the comments below or just direct it to me in PMs and I will watch it because I, they're my favorite videos to watch. Thanks very much for watching. If you love toys in general, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to share. If you love Marketplace haul videos, give this a thumbs up. Hope to see you in the next video.